two updates dropped this week. Wow, a lot of information to cover. So if you haven't been following my channel, I've been covering the Minimal Phone Project. The Minimal Phone is a minimalist e-ink device with a QWERTY keyboard. Now this device is designed to get people to scroll less and live more. So essentially this is going to potentially help people stop their social media, doom scrolling, and their addiction to their smartphones in general. Now this device is set to have the Google Play Store, so you'll still be able to access all the apps you need. But where this device is a bit different, it again has an e-ink display, that is touchscreen, as well as a QWERTY keyboard for typing. This is a dream device for a lot of people, and a lot of us have been keeping an eye on it for the release of this phone, which is set to ship next month. Now this week, there have been some important updates. On August 6th, they released an update stating that the PCBA, so the Printed Circuit Board Assembly, step is complete. This is great news. They also added an image, and as you can see here, this gives some reassurance that the phone is heading towards production. They also stated in this update that they will be leaving for China on August 18th. Now this is important because we'll take a look at the next update, which is also really exciting. So as I was preparing this video, I was going to cover just the August 6th update, but as I was preparing that video, an update dropped on August 13th. This update states that the phone assembly is complete and they've started debugging. Now the debugging stage should be completed before they head to China on August 18th, and once they get to China, they'll be continuing the steps, I'm guessing, towards production of the device sooner than later. They also released an image of the engineering sample. This is vital for those of us who want to see what the phone could potentially look like. Now, it states that this will not be the final phone. Again, this is an engineering sample, so they'll have some final refinements for the final production devices. But with this assembly, we'll be able to see and get a better picture of what the phone will look like, and more importantly, what that keyboard is looking like. Now, if we take a closer look, we can see that there is a large key travel for the keys within this image. This is good news for those of you who have bigger fingers and are worried about double typing on letters. I have a question about the camera placement. Now this is a very unique and I've never seen a camera placement in the bottom left hand corner. I would also like to see the camera quality and I also have a question if this would interfere with those of you who are left handed users. Would the camera be covered most of the time? Would this annoy you? Will the camera also get dirty a lot with those of us who are also touching the bottom of the device quite frequently? Those are questions for those who will be testing the device and potentially if we see a demo of the device in the near future. The second image in this update is also super interesting and also very informative. We can see all the pieces of the device laid out. This will give us a better image on what the device components are composed of, as well as where they'll be located, and the quality of the device. I'm really happy that the Minimal Phone Company is being super transparent about all of the items that will be composed with the device itself. It's super eye-opening to see the phone laid out in this manner, and I really like to be able to see each component side by side. Again, I'm really looking forward to the device being tested, especially the engineering sample, on what the screen quality will look like, the refresh rate, as well as the camera usage. What do you think about these updates? Are there any additional information that you would like to see? What do you think about the images so far and how the phone looks? I'm really curious to see what all of you have to say about these particular updates. And thank you so much for watching and see you soon.